Education Network presents The Academic Challenge, hosted by Rick Blackwell. Hello everyone, Rick Blackwell for the Education Network. Welcome to the Palm Beach County District Final of the 2016 Academic Challenge. In this 31st year, we begin with 15 Palm Beach County High Schools in the challenge this year. After three days of qualifying rounds, we're down to our top six schools. Now today we have three rounds of questions being posed to these top six teams. The top three teams will take home a trophy for their efforts with the top team holding the title of District Academic Team Challenge Champion for the next year. Let's meet these six teams. Suncoast High School, John I. Leonard High School, Spanish River High School, Wellington High School, Dreyfus High School, and Atlantic High School. Now that we have met the teams, covered the format, let's review how the District All-Star Team will be decided. With six core subject areas in the competition, students have been tracked with the most correct answers to this point. All of those students can build on their scores with today's three rounds. The individual students with the highest score in each subject area will earn a spot on the District All-Star Team that will compete in the state tournament. A lot of excitement for today's coverage, winning teams and trophies, All-Star students, so much is on the line. This year marks the 31st anniversary for the Academic Team Challenge here in Palm Beach County, and the Education Network is proud to again provide coverage of the challenge. Yetta Green, our moderator for today, has been in this role for a number of years, and we thank her for the commitment she has made for these incredibly intelligent students and this impressive academic challenge. Good luck to all. I will rejoin you with the results after the final round. For now, let's head out once again to Studio A and hand this over to moderator Yetta Green to get the action started. Yetta. Thanks, Rick. At this time, we will begin the five-point question round. Question, which one of the following four words is an adjective? One, substance. Two, substantial. Three, sus Team five, A.W. Dreyfus. Substantial. Substantial is correct. Substantial, the other choices were sustain and sustainability. Substantial is correct. Question, which one of the following four movements is not a mass wasting event? One, accretion. Two, creep. Three, slump. Four, soliflexion. Team one, Suncoast. Accretion. That is correct, number one, accretion. Question. Find the absolute value inequality statement that corresponds to negative 3 is less than x is less than 7. Team 6, Atlantic. The absolute value of the quantity x minus 2 is less than 5? That is correct, yes. Question. <clears throat> Emmett and Marty accelerate in a time vehicle at a constant rate starting from rest to three significant digits state in feet per second squared the vehicle's acceleration given that its final velocity is 129 feet per second and it accelerates over 6.50 seconds. Team five, Dreyfus. What is 19.8 feet per second squared? That is correct, 19.8. <laughs> Question. Fill in, respectively, the two blanks in the following sentence with the missing U.S. states. The first state to hold caucuses to select party candidates for president is blank, and the first state to hold a presidential preference. Team one, Suncoast. Iowa, New Hampshire. A preference primary is blank. Iowa and New Hampshire is correct. Question, who am I? I was born in France in 1743. I was admitted to the bar, yet never practiced as a lawyer. My interest in science led to my investigations on combustion. In 1783, I published a paper attacking phlogistic theory. Although I was beheaded in 1794. T1, Suncoast. Who is Antoine Lavoisier? The legacy of my work earned me the title Father of Modern Chemistry. That is correct, Lavoisier. Question. State the solution to the following system of linear equations. Negative x squared plus 4y equals negative 124. 
3x plus 6y equals 24. State the solution to the following system of linear equations. Negative 8x plus 4y equals negative 124. 3x plus 6y equals 24. Team 6, Atlantic. x equals 14 and y equals negative 3. That is correct, 14 and negative 3. You will need to state the language for which you are giving an answer. For this first one, I have to read the question to you, so go ahead and open the envelope, remove the poems. There should be one French, one Spanish. Everybody has the two sheets. The question is, who is the author of the poem? Team 1, Suncoast. Answering in French, Jacques Prévert. That is correct. Question. Identify the Napoleonic program intended to paralyze Great Britain through the destruction of British commerce. Team 3, Spanish River. Continental system. The continental system is correct. Question. State the number of flats in the key of C minor. Team 4, Wellington. 3. 3 flats is correct. Question. An account is opened with an initial investment of $700 at 3.29% interest compounded annually to two decimal places. Calculate how many years it would take to have $2,000 in the account. Team one, Suncoast. 32 years. That is incorrect because it says to two decimal places, 32.43 years, 32.43 years. Question, match. Match each of the following four suffixes to its definition. And we decided that I'm going to spell these suffixes for you. A is C-R-A-C-Y. Choice B, T-I-O-N. Choice C, G-R-A-P-H-Y. Choice D, I-S-T. The definitions are, one, the act of, two, one who practices or believes. Three, writing about. Four, rule. Team six, Atlantic. A4, B1, C3, D2. That is correct. Question. Find the seventh term in the following sequence. Five, 15, 45, 135. Team six, Atlantic. 36, 45. That is correct, 3,645. Question, identify respectively each of the following four organisms as being either an autotroph or a heterotroph. Number one, kelp. Number two, amoeba. Number three, phytoplankton. Number four, yeast. Team one, Suncoast. Uh, autotroph, heterotroph, autotroph, and heterotroph. That is correct. Autotroph, heterotroph, autotroph, heterotroph. Question. Name the three major world religions that venerate the patriarch Abraham. Team five, Dreyfus. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. That is correct. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Remember that you need to identify if you are answering in French or Spanish. Now open the envelope, distribute, and begin. Team three, Spanish River. Uh, uh, vre, vre in French. That is correct. Question. Identify the captain of industry known for his work with direct current, which earned him the nickname the Wizard of Menlo Park. Team three, Spanish River. Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison is correct. Question. Who am I? I was born in Zwickau in 1810. Until 1840, I wrote only for the piano. Eventually, I composed numerous vocal works, symphonies, concerti, and chamber music. I was married to my dear Clara, who was also- Team one, Suncoast. Uh, Richard Schumann. Who was, uh, who was also a composer and pianist, but it's wrong, right? Yes, it's wrong. Okay, it's Robert Schumann. Robert Schumann. The last name would have been fine, but when you give more information and it's incorrect, it makes the question incorrect. Could have been Robert Alexander Schumann. Okay, that concludes our five point question round. At this time, we will begin the 10 point question round. Question 
A certain student throws a ball at 5.00 meters per second downward from a roof of a 55.0 meter tall building. To three significant digits, determine in seconds how long it takes the ball to reach the ground. Team four, Wellington. 11 seconds, 11 point. And it's incorrect, it's 2.88, 2.88 seconds. Question. Find the exact length of side Y of oblique triangle XYZ when side X is the square root of 3 and side Z equals 4 with an included angle of 30 degrees. Team 3, Spanish River. 7. Is that incorrect? The answer is the square root of seven. The square root of seven. For a guess, that was close. Sorry. For this next question, you will use handout B2. Locate the envelope labeled B2, but do not open it. Does everyone have it? All right, this time, you don't have to hurry because I have to read the question. So remove the art reproduction. OK, look at it. Question, identify the impressionist artist of Team 6, Atlantic. Uh, Degas. <laughs> identify the impressionist artist of the work in the reproduction. Degas is correct. Question, identify the 20th century president associated with the following statement. We must be the great arsenal of democracy. Team 4, Wellington. Uh, FDR. That is correct. Franklin Roosevelt or FDR, either one was acceptable. Question, which one of the following four rhetorical devices is used in the following sentence? Michael asked for Jenny's hand in marriage. One, euphemism. Two, malapropism. Three, solepsis. Four. Team three, Spanish River. Four. That is correct. Four is synecdoche. Guess you can eliminate the others were not right. Four was correct. Question. A can of soup has a diameter of 7.5 centimeters and a height of 10 centimeters. To the nearest whole number, calculate in centimeters the surface area of the can, assuming the can is a perfect cylinder. A can of soup has a diameter of 7.5 centimeters and a height of 10 centimeters. Team one, Suncoast. 151. Incorrect, it's 324 centimeters, 324. Question, identify. Identify the document promoted by Charles VI of Austria to ensure that his daughter, Maria Teresa, would succeed him to the throne of the- Team Aust three, Spanish River. Pragmatic sanction of the Austrian Empire, pragmatic sanction is correct. Wow. Question. For this next question, you will use the foreign language poems, so get your yellow sheets, and you will also need handout B3. Locate the envelope, but do not open it. The question is printed on the handout. Remember to st identify whether you're answering in French or Spanish. Now, open the envelope, distribute, and begin. Team six, Atlantic. Uh, those, what? He said it. He said it. He said it. Those, he said those. Spanish those. He said it. He said it. Yeah. OK, the answer was two. I guess he said dos, right? The answer was two in either French or Spanish. Please put those uh, sheets in your discard pile, except for the yellow sheets. Keep the yellow sheets separate. Question, match. Match each of the following four bones to its classification. The bones are A, carpal, B, metacarpal, C, sternum, D, vertebra. The classifications are one, flat, two, irregular, three, long, four, short. Match each of the following four bones to its classification. The bones are 
A, carpal, B, metacarpal. Team one, Suncoast. A, four, B, three, C, one, D, two. That is correct. A, four, B, three, C, one, D, two. For this next question, you will hear the recording of an interval performed twice, once with the notes played simultaneously and once with the notes in succession. You may take notes or discuss quietly during the playing, and then I'll read the question. Question. Identify the interval Team performed. five, Dreyfus. It is major sixth. <laughs> major sixth is correct. Question. <clears throat> Working alone, Ray can build a patio in 152 hours, Tim in 38 hours, and Jules in 304 hours. To the nearest tenth, calculate in hours how long it would take Ray, Tim, and Jules to build the patio working together. Working alone, Ray can build a patio in 152 hours. Tim in Team one, Suncoast. 18.6. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. It's incorrect. Incorrect. It's 27.6 hours. 27.6 hours. Question. <clears throat> Who am I? Although some biographers have professed that I am an English secret agent, this speculation has never been proven. I was one of the first English dramatists to explore the use of blank verse in my plays. I was killed in a bar fight in 1593. Team one, Suncoast. Uh, Christopher Marlowe. My works include Dr. Faustus and the Jew of Malta. Christopher Marlowe is correct. Question. <clears throat> Identify respectively each of the following four as a sole power of the Senate or the House of Representatives. Number one, try impeachments. Number two, approve treaties. Number three, initiate impeachment. Number four, elect the president if there is no majority. Team six, Atlantic. Um, two was Senate, three was uh, Senate, four was House, and one was House. Uh, two right, two wrong, so that's incorrect. One was Senate, two was Senate, three was House, and four was House. Question, state the empirical formula of a compound that is 39% carbon, 16% hydrogen and 45% nitrogen by mass. Team three, Spanish River. CH5N. That is correct, CH5N is correct. Question, which of the following three pairs of words is needed to complete the following sentence? The blank politician was accompanied by a blank who praised his every comment. Pair one, affable, affable, gadfly. Two, docile, anathema. Three, grandiloquent, sycophant. Team six, Atlantic. Three. Three is correct, grandiloquent and sycophant. State whether you're answering in French or Spanish. The question is printed on the handout. Now open the envelope, distribute and begin. Team three, Spanish River. Uh, in French, one. That is correct. Question, match. Match each of the following four folk heroes to his or her description. The folk heroes are A, Till Eulenspiegel, B, Lady Godiva, C, King Arthur, D, Siegfried. The descriptions are one, slew a dragon and bathed in its blood, blood to become invincible. Two, 
while Nude rode a horse through Coventry to protest taxes. Three, obtained a sword named Cut Steel from the Lady of the Lake. Four. Team five, Dreyfus. A, three, B, one, C, four, D, uh, one. No. Yeah. no. No, that is incorrect. Four choice was M uh, trickster whose pranks expose greed, folly, and vice in others. It was A4, B2, C3, D1. Question, <clears throat> which one of the following four causes eutrophication? Eutrophication. What is it? Eutrophication. Eutrophication, sorry. Which one of the following four causes eutrophication? Number one, decrease in dissolved oxygen. Two, decrease in nitrogen concentration. Three, increase in dissolved oxygen. Team four. three, Spanish River. Four. Four is increase in nitrogen concentration. That is the correct answer. Okay, you can open it and distribute it, and then I'll read the question. The question is, identify the mode five, of the- Dreyfus. Mode. What? The mode of this scale is, oh, can I finish? Oh, I'm sorry. The mode of this scale is Dorian. Dorian is <laughs> correct. Identify the mode of the notated scale. Okay, put that aside with the discards, please. And that concludes our 10 point round. At this time, we will begin the 15 point question round. Question Find the derivative of f of x equals cosine of the quantity tangent of x squared. Team one, Suncoast. Negative uh, sine quantity tan of x squared uh, times uh, secant squared of x squared times 2x. I think he said negative at the very beginning. It is correct. Yes. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. That was correct. Negative 2 times, two, negative 2x two times secant squared x squared times sine of tangent x squared. That was correct. Question. <laughs> Determine the value of this mythological math. Add the number of the labors of Hercules to the number of the heads of the Hydra. Multiply this sum. Team six, Atlantic. Yes. Um, 105. It's incorrect. It was multiply this sum by the number of the Pleiades. So that came to 147. It was 12 plus 9 was 21 times 7 is 147. The an there was a Another part still to come. Question. Match. Match each of the following four individuals to his or her description. The individuals are A. Harriet Beecher Stowe. B. Dred Scott. C. Stephen Douglas. D. John Brown. The descriptions are 1. Slave who sued for his freedom. Number 2. Led a raid on Harper's Ferry. Number three, promoted popular sovereignty. Team four, Wellington. Uh, B1, D2, uh, C3, A4. And the four was wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin. That is correct. For this next question relating to instrumentation, the recording of one musical selection will be played. You may take notes or discuss quietly during the playing. After we hear the selection, I will read the question. At this time, we'll listen. The question is, identify the three instruments used. Team five, Dreyfus. Is the French horn, the bassoon, and the piano. <laughs> that is correct. French horn or horn, bassoon, and piano in any order. Remember to identify which language you're answering in. The question is printed on the handout. Now, open the envelope. Team two, John I. Uh, I'm answering in Spanish. It has three syllables. Three is correct. Question. 
What three-letter word is common to the spelling of the three terms defined by the following? Number one, a polyhedron with a polygonal base and lateral faces that taper to an apex. Number two, superior to all others. Number three, defensive wall or bank around a castle or settlement. Team five, Dreyfus. Oh. No. Oh. The answer is ram. Number one was a pyramid, which has R-A-M in it. Number two was paramount, R-A-M, and rampart, R-A-M. So the three-letter word was ram, R-A-M. Question, match. Match each of the following four articles of the U.S. Constitution to its provision. The articles are A, fourth, B, fifth, C, sixth, D, seventh. The provisions are, one, no religious test required to hold political office, public office. Number two, full faith and credit clause. Number three, proposing amendments to the Constitution. Number four, nine states required for ratification of the Constitution. Team three, Spanish River. A2, B1, C3, D4. That's incorrect. The Middle two were reversed. It's A2, B3, C1, and D4. Question. <clears throat> Breaking away from his more common metric pattern, Shakespeare used what meter when writing? Team three, Spanish River. Iamic pentameter. No. When writing the following lines in his play Macbeth, it was double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn, and cauldron, bubble. That's trochaic. Trochaic. For this next question, you will use handout B9. Locate the envelope, but do not open it. You do not need your foreign language sheets for this, just B9. Okay, let me just see. All right, there is a two-part question that's printed on the handout. Now, open, distribute, and begin. Team one, Suncoast. Um, for part one, A, for part two, DNA transcription. That is. That is correct. It was a picture part one was in the image below, which strand A, B, or C is a DNA antisense strand. A was the correct answer. Part two, what is the process being illustrated? And it was transcription, part two, <laughs> DNA transcription. Okay, you may put those in your discard pile. Question. Identify the war which saw England, France, and the Ottoman Empire fighting on- Team three, Spanish River. Crimean fighting on the same side and the Battle of Balaclava, and the Crimean War was correct. Question. In slope-intercept form, find the equation of the line tangent to the function f of x equals 3x squared plus 2x plus 16 at negative 1 comma 17. In slope-intercept form, find the equation of the line tangent to the function f of x equals 3x squared plus Team 2. Team 6, Atlantic. y equals negative 4x plus 13. That is correct. Again, identify if you are answering in French or Spanish. The question is printed on the handout. Now, open, distribute. Team 2, John I. Uh, uh, 3, A, B, A, B. Or Abe, Abe. That is correct. Question. Question. To the nearest tenth, calculate the pH of a 0 0.50 molar acetic acid solution, given that the Ka of acetic acid is 1.75 times 10 to the negative 5 power. Team six, Atlantic. A uh, pH of 2.2. Is incorrect, it is 2.5. Question, state the domain and range of the function f of x equals negative four minus the square root of the quantity negative x plus one. State the domain and range of the function 
f of x equals negative 4 minus the square. Team 1, Suncoast. Uh, the domain of x is x is uh, less than or equal to negative 1. Uh, domain of y is negative 4 to infinity. No. No. The answer would x is less than or equal to 1. y is less than or equal to a negative 4. Is that correct? OK. So that was incorrect answer. Question. Match. Match each of the following four stylistic periods to the artist who worked during that time. The style periods are A, Impressionism, B, Romanticism, C, Medieval, D, Surrealism. The artists are 1, Cassatt, 2, Delacroix, 3, Ernst, and 4, Simabu. Team 5, Dreyfus. A1, B2, C4, D3. That is correct. A1, B2, C4, and D3. For this next question, you will need this information. A cup contains seven red marbles, five black marbles, four green marbles, and three blue marbles. Question. Given that two marbles are randomly drawn out one at a time without replacement, state in lowest terms the probability that both marbles are the same color. A cup contains seven red marbles, five black marbles, four green marbles, and three blue marbles. Given that two marbles are randomly drawn out one at a time without replacement, state in lowest terms the probability that both marbles are the same color. Team 5, Dreyfus. What is 40 divided by 171? 40 divided by 171, that is correct. Question. Question. Match. Match each of the following four U.S. constitutional amendments to its provision. The amendments are A, 23rd, B, 8th, C, 12th, are we okay? C, 12th, D, 24th. The provisions are 1, separate ballots for president and vice president, two, no excessive bail, three, no poll, no poll taxes. Team six, Atlantic. A4, B2, C1, D3. Four was electoral votes for the District of Columbia. That is correct, A4, B2, C1, D3. This next question is three-way matching. Three-way matching again. Match each of the following four compositions to its composer and genre. The compositions are A. Petrushka, B. Candide, C. Don Juan, for the Blue Danube. Um, repeat. You said four instead of D. Oh, D. I'm sorry. The compositions are A. Petrushka, B. Candide, C. Don Juan, and D. D, the Blue Danube. The composers are 1, Richard Strauss, 2, Johann Strauss, Jr., 3, Stravinsky, 4, Bernstein. The genres are W, symphonic poem, X, ballet, Y, operetta, Z, waltz. Team 4, Wellington. Uh, Petruska, Stravinsky, ballet, Candide, Bernstein, Operetta, uh, Danube, J. Strauss, Waltz, uh, Don Juan, R. Strauss, and whatever the last option was. Can that please count? <laughs> <laughs> Those are correct. Question. Identify the four terms beginning with the letter L from the following descriptions. One, enclosed part of a waterway with gates to alter water level. Number two, the organ of voice. Three, value that a function or expression approaches as the input approaches some value. 
four nonsense poem, usually with the rhyme scheme. Team five, Dreyfus. Lock, larynx, limit, limerick. With the rhyme scheme A, A, B, B, A, it is lock, larynx, limit, and limerick. That's correct, and that concludes our 15-point question round. Wow, thanks, Shedda, and all the teams for such exciting final round play. I'll be back after the short break to visit our final team leaderboard to see which teams will be taking home a trophy, and we will reveal the 2016 Palm Beach County District All-Star team of students that will be headed to Orlando for the state finals championship. Stay tuned. We are the Education Network. We are your source for live coverage. Bringing you news impacting your students, your schools, and your community. We are covering the district, on campuses, in the classroom, throughout the community. We are on air online, on mobile. The Education Network, your best choice for school district news. That's who we are. Welcome back. I am so impressed with this group of talented, intelligent students from around the school district of Palm Beach County. They all studied hard, qualified for the final, and battled it out in today's district final. Now let's reveal the final team standings. With six teams entered in the finals, we only have four top placing teams. More on that in a minute. Taking fourth place, the team from John I. Leonard. Now to explain why we only have four top teams, it's because of the stellar play from three teams that wound up tied for third place. Congratulations to Team Suncoast High School, Team Spanish River High School, and Team Wellington High School for their notable third place tying finish. And now to the runner up in the district finals. It's the High Flying Eagles from Atlantic High School, which means the team from A.W. Dreyfus takes home the top honors, trophy and title for the year. Congratulations to all the teams, coaches, and schools that were represented. Everyone is a winner here today. I was able to catch up with the top teams to see how they felt about the overall competition this year. What was that feeling like to know that you guys are taking that trophy to Dreyfus? Oh, it's great. And I was in this thing. I have this mental state, and I guarantee that's what won it for us. It's called the zone. Okay. And what you have to do to get in the zone, it's really simple. You look straight forward. Uh -huh. Then you look up without moving your head. Then you <laughs> bulge out your eyes. And all of a sudden, you instantly get much smarter without even trying. Yeah. And, you know, to compensate for maybe some lack of knowledge about certain things, I just used the zone. The zone. And I was in the zone when they announced yeah. that, so I was just very happy. Are you still in the zone, or have you no, left right the now, zone? I left the zone. You can only stay in the zone for 90 minutes a day. Okay. When LeBron James is scoring 50 points, he's also in the zone, just like Charles. Yeah. Real, I asked you real quickly. We started this conversation with you eating a donut about a week and a half ago. We are finishing... The donut, the key, you think? The Dunkin' Donut glaze? I, I think so. Carbohydrates are everything. And, yeah. You know, I'm watching my figure a little bit, but yeah. I think I could splurge and have another donut after this. All, All right. right. The zone and donuts, the keys. And zone starts with Z, which was kind of the final question. Yeah, that's right. wrote it on the paper. <laughs> it's the zone. <laughs> Ethan, how much fun was it to be with these guys and to win the championship? Oh, my God. I, I love all of them. Uh, they're all such great people. I'm so honored to be on a team with some of my best friends at school. And it's great to always win. I mean, we walked in with empty hopes at first. You said we were the team to beat, and we laughed. Because um, <laughs> you said, oh, we had countdown call. That was a little bit of hyperbole from Charles. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was, it was pretty cool. I can't say anything more than that. But. Okay. And Philip, you guys were like celebrating. I mean, you guys are the most boisterous of all the groups. <laughs> Everybody would like, <laughs> would get a point right and it'd be kind of chill. You guys were like celebrating after each one, but I guess, you know, you got to celebrate, right? right? Yeah, you know, when you're in the zone, you really, <laughs> you can't not celebrate. It's just one of the side effects of being in the zone. <laughs> so, so cool. you got to celebrate it. 
All right, be the analyst, Michael. Tell us what was the key to victory? What was the reason why you guys did so? Well, I think the key to success was definitely the zone. <laughs> oh, no. But also, we celebrated after every answer because every answer was a step, it was a key to success. Yeah. And we really just, by answering in the zone, we got the questions right and won the tournament. Cool. Stefan, tell me a little bit about what your anticipation was of this event. How much fun was it to be around other like minded kids from all these other schools? So. It was kind of, I was kind of nervous because last year we got sixth place out of six, so yeah. I was uh, very apprehensive going into this, but with my good luck charm of Abraham Lincoln yeah. and the zone and our <laughs> special celebrations after every question, it raised our team morale, so we were, we were going in a little bit more confident than last year. So this is kind of like a little mascot then, right? Yes. All right. And Laura, just how much preparation went into this event for the six of you guys? And, and just uh, how did that really pay off, obviously, with this championship? I think that it really paid off. We always had lunch practices. And recently, we've been incorporating the zone into our practices. So <laughs> <laughs> we've improved a lot. Congratulations again for the outstanding play of all the teams, especially to the district champs, A.W. Dreyfus. Now, we have the final numbers in place and can reveal the six individual students who excelled in each key subject area, and they have earned a spot on the district all-star team. Let's bring up the final individual leaderboards and reveal which students will be headed to state competition. I present the Palm Beach County Academic Challenge all-star team. For mathematics, Abrar Ahmed from Atlantic High School. For science, Jerry Yang from Suncoast High School. For social studies, Jacob Rubin, Spanish River High School. For art and music, fittingly so, Charles Commodore from Dreyfus School of the Arts. For foreign language, Daniela Figueroa from John I. Leonard High School. For top English honors, Karen Sem from Suncoast High School. We will follow this team's success at the state finals and let you know how they did in the state competition. Well, this completes another year of the Academic Team Challenge. We want to acknowledge Diana Snyder from the Secondary Education Department and her team who took care of getting these schools coordinated and into the competition and handling so many of the details needed to bring this production together. We also want to acknowledge this list of judges that sat in for each session of the challenge. And finally, to the team here at the Education Network for putting these shows together to bring you. Now, I am honored to have been your host. Good luck to our all-star team at State. I'm Rick Blackwell. For the Education Network, keeping you informed.